Welcome to episode number 3 of our 5089 Let's Play, and today we'll go and get ourselves some higher level weapons and cool utilities such as hoverboards. We'll explore outside the base and see how things get more difficult there. And now I should point out, the game has updated its terrain generation since our last episode, so we're effectively on a new map, um, but using the same character. Okay, fuck it, um, let's go and buy us some fun things. Um, a recent update means that you can buy these fun things right from the start of the game. Hooray! Instead of unlocking them after the first boss, which we've already killed. Now somewhere, I think it might be on the top floor, there's the utilities thing. Um, there's also that build... is that the building thing? I think so, yeah, that's the building thing, which contains lots of stuff to make geometric shapes, teleporters and things like that, which we'll probably look in another episode. Right, this isn't the floor. Right, need to go to the very top floor. Right, so hopefully... Yep, here we go. Um, the green star. Right, so there's quite a few utilities here. Um, they haven't quite stocked the full station yet. I'm not quite sure what that what that's all about. Right, so there's a hoverboard. Yes! Um, this is what we want. It's a level 1 hoverboard, so it only has a burden of 3.5. Oh, sorry, it, has a, it supports a burden of 35. It, it, it is itself a burden of 3.5. So we're going to buy that. Not too expensive. Um, but it won't support much weight. And let's see how much weight I've got at the moment. 23, that's not too bad. And let's see if I can also buy one of these other things. Because there's, there's also grappling hooks, decoys. And uh, what's that? It's another decoy, another grappling hook, a gravity gun, a gravity well, and a telelocator. Most of those things are a bit weird. Telelocators are quite useful because it teleports you to a thing that you shoot out. Grappling hooks are great. Um, shall I buy one? Yes, I, sh I shall buy one. Right, there we go. Right, let's go and hoverboard. Um, provided that your um, your burden isn't exceeded, which is that you're 35, um, you should be able to hover around all over the place. So press H, and it'll automatically toggle it into one of your slots. Now, it's a bit more slippery travel when you're on hoverboard. Whee! Look, <laughs> going backwards. But you do go a bit faster. Um, not that much faster, because your robot does actually start quite fast, unlike in 3089. Um, I'm just tootling around the starting area, I don't really want to do that. Um, but it does mean you can get up to some really good jumps, actually, on hoverboard. Um, let's try. Let's go... Flying! Yeah. <laughs> Most impressive, I think you'll agree. Okay, let's just do a bit of exploring outside of the base. Um, I've got my little weapon. Um, of course, because I'm going outside the base, it's going to be a more difficult area. But Oh no! It's okay, um, you can actually hover on top of water. Those bridges really are quite ominous, <laughs> looming in the background. Right, let's tootle around. Uh oh, I can hear I can hear the plinkling noise of a little ball bomb. Um, thankfully, I've left it far behind. So we're starting to get out into more difficult areas. Ooh, a little worrying. Uh, right. Um, so if I start picking up more loot, by the way, I am going to start getting more and more burdened. 26 out of 35 for the hoverboard isn't too bad at the moment, so I can pick up a bit of stuff. But as soon as I pick up too much, the hoverboard will come to a dead stop. And we don't want that. Okay, so yeah, the, the landscape gets a lot more dramatic outside of the base. And because recent updates have made it so that the base itself tends to be very flat. Whereas as soon as you get outside, it's all manner of madness. We're currently in the green area. Green. Look at the map. Yes, all green, but then it starts to drift into different colours as we get into difficult, different difficulty areas. Wee! Yeah, this is good fun. Let's um, let's do something with the grappling gun. It's in my number two slot, so I just switch switch to it there. Uh oh, uh oh, meteor shower. Right, there's my grappling hook. Wee! Woohoo! Oh 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 oh! There we go. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I need to find a house before the meteors start landing. Otherwise, I think we're going to be a bit fucked. Um, actually, I can't see any houses anywhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> uh, this could get tricky. Oh, there's one, there's one. There, 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 there. Uh, time rip. Uh, in fact, is, are the meteors arriving? No, we're fine. I think I could time rip in an emergency. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! That was probably a bad idea. I'm on the roof. Okay. Um, time rip. Yep, so look, the comments are not falling. Uh, deactivate the hoverboard, run into the house, and de-time rip. Oh, that was close. Right, the meteor storm has finished. Um, I think I better explain difficulty a bit more, because it is a bit confusing at first. I'm currently quite a long way away from my base in this house, which we're hiding in. That's an unpowered station, because we're quite a long way away. 
on the map, that's indicated by the red stuff in the bottom left. So, so far in this series, we've stuck mainly to the base area, the orange base, where everything is considered difficulty level 1. So all the robots there are pretty weak, the terminals in the building sell level 1 equipment, and generally all the loot from crates are, um, and baddies is level 1. But, um, and because we started to destroy towers in the previous episode, I keep calling them fortresses, um, it means we've now powered some of the terminals really close to our original base, um, and they should contain some level 2 gear. So, for instance, look, this building here um, has green um, on it, whereas it, and before we um, destroyed any towers, they were red. Right, so yes, what we're going to do is um, we're going to move out of our base, um, which is here, um, the base in the base, um, and we're going to get, get ourselves some better stuff. I mean, I've already marked a waypoint on our map. Um, this is going to be our new house, um, which will be lovely. Um, um, it also includes a, um, a, a spawn point backup terminal, which we will activate. Um, by the way, you can see the precise difficulty level of any area of the map in the top left. That's arguably one of the most important things in the game to know. Difficulty 1.6 there, whereas the main base is kind of level 1. So that'll be 1.6, and beyond that, we're going to difficulty level 3, and we're currently in difficulty level 4. Um, so we need quite a few more conversion points for destroying towers uh, before these will activate and turn green. So we're going to go to our difficulty 1.6, 1.7 area, um, which will start to contain um, up to level 2 stuff. It's all a, a strange averaging system. Right, so I'm going to follow the waypoint on the... there it is. Um, let's go. Let's hoverboard as well. Hey. Do, 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 do. So yep, the, the further away you get, you get from the main base, and the higher the difficulty level, and terminals need more conversion points to actually power up. There's a horrible shooty thing. I'm destroying the purple robot. Oh, it's one of ours. Good man, you big purple glowing excellent thing of baldness. Anyway, these robots are going to be around level 4, so they are going to... Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Um, they... Yeah, I might be able to destroy this. Unfortunately, there's lots of... Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see if that. Let's see if the loot is actually good then, um, because you might be able to get loot, um, good loot from these. And um, this weapon is, is absolute arse. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what level loot that is. Level three, not bad at all. Now, in theory, hang on. Let's get let's get rid of him as well. Oh, he's got a shield. Oh dear. In theory, what stops you from getting crates from an incredibly high area, which will be full of incredibly high-level loot? Well, the game stops you doing that. <laughs> if you haven't got enough conversion points, those crates will simply not drop anything. So it, it kind of like acts as a, as a way of making it so you can't get overpowered too early. Oh, those bloody things. Since we've destroyed that boss, we've got those bloody spirit things popping up all over the place now. And they're just bastards. And too many things are shooting us, so we're going to run like the clappers. Where are we going? Uh Right, jump! Oh, actually, don't jump, because <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, get my grappling hook ready, just in case. Uh, oh, no! No, 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 you need to go up there! You need to go up there! Oh, come on! This has a really long, bloody recharge thing. There we go. Oh, God, that's <laughs> not helping. Uh, right, okay. Ow! Ow! Take off! Right, okay, let's get into our new base. Back up and everything will be fine, and my brain can stop- oh, bollocks. Fuck off! And you, especially you. They're quite easy robots. And by the way, I think I'm I'm, I'm defeating kind of like level 3 and level 4 robots quite well, and because I have, um, again between episodes, skilled up a bit, so I'm kind of like in the, level, in the, um, in the range of 40 skill points for a lot of th the useful things, like guns and whatever. I also destroyed a second tower off camera as well, so my conversion points are currently at 8. I don't know why they call them conversion points, because they're kind of, um, you, you don't spend them on stuff, as far as I know. Um, they're more just like an indication of level, what terminals are powered up and all that. Right, okay, so let's get some health before we do anything else. It's fairly cheap, so no worries there. And we've got a convenient uh, little, um, oh, hello. <laughs> we've got a convenient little energy thing just there as well. And some chips. I think we've got everything in this thing apart from utilities. So if we want a new hoverboard or whatever, a level 2 hoverboard, we'll have to go elsewhere. Because even things like, you know, every, everything has a level. Um, where's the back? There's the backup. Phew, now if we die, we'll respawn here. There's the original orange base, all looking very dark and mysterious now. Um, so anyway, let's get ourselves a better weapon. Hopefully there'll be some level 2 stuff here. Uh, I really should have checked beforehand. Um, some of it's, yeah, some of it's level 1, some of it's level 2. Because our difficulty rating for this square is 1.6, 1.7, you do get a, like, a mixture of 
uh, levels around that, so basically one or two. There's nothing here I really want. Um, an Uzi? It's very expensive. Uh, but what the hell. Let's Uzi! And um, which does mean that I will need to buy some ammo as well. Ugh, bloody ammo. Let's just buy a lot. Um, my burden now will be going up to 44, which is annoying because now, um, if, if I try to hog, um, toggle on my hoverboard, I can't go anywhere. So at some point I'll need to get a bloody level 2 hoverboard. And by the way, when you do um, install the hoverboard, when you toggle it on, it automatically puts it into that slot. So you need to have a slot free. Right, so let's try out our new weapon. This is a level 2 weapon. Let's, actually, let's see how much damage it does. Um, damage per second, 37.8, which isn't huge um, compared to <laughs> 36. It's actually a very similar thing, but it's a different kind of weapon. So we'll just try that out on... Oh, hello. Um, hang on. Yes, that's the right one. So, yes, this should be a... Oh, that's... Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's just... Um, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Very different kind of weapon, rather than the whole little pistoliness that I've been used to. Quick, reload, reload. Actually, it's, it's accurate as absolutely nothing at all. This is terrible. Die! Oh, dear. Okay, let's compare that to the normal weapon. Uh, yep. I think I could prefer the pistol. It's actually... Oh, the, the trouble with this one. Um, I mean, they, it's, it's only got five bloody ammo slots. Uh, so you'd have to reload very frequently. And let's just pick up those. And that. Yeah, so that's a bit different. Um, oh, just picked up lots of level 1 stuff. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, let's actually just flog all this tat again. Um, yeah, let's go to the armor. No, hang on. The, the chippery again. That'll do. Flog all that stuff. And again, we've got a lot of cash. Right, just going to edit in a quick bit after the fact. I'm just going to insert it into the episode. Just so I can actually prove to you a bit more about the whole weapon skill level thing. Because I think it might have been a bit confusing earlier. Um, this is a good example. This is a different weapons terminal to before. Um, but now we can actually see the difference between different skill levels of weapon. This is a level 2 sword, and this is just a level 1 sword. Uh, right, the level 2 sword is about twice as much. That's about 600. That one's about 1,000. Um, damage per second for the higher one is 11. Um, that one is only 6. Um, you can see all the, the different scores on it as well, like um, in all the different parts, like agility, prestige, stun chance. Those are all the random bonus things that you get. And it tends to be a bit bigger when it comes to the level 2 thing. You've got 2.4, you've got a 2.9 thing there. All of those will affect your skills. Plus there's all that stuff about cooldown and shield damage and stuff like that. Sometimes positive, sometimes negative. And there's a level 2 rifle, which I might actually buy, because it's got a damage per second of 40.7. And there's an even better one here, which is a damage per second of 47. Both of these are level 2, compared to this level 1 energy pistol, which is kind of comparable, which only does, has a damage per second of 33.5. Um, yeah, in fact, I'm going to get that bastard. And some ammo. And everything will be groovy. Right, we now restore you to your regular programming. Oh, one thing I should mention about the workstations and the backup stations is they're always powered, no matter what level difficulty you are. So that is a bit confusing. But it does mean that... Um, pick up the map even uh, stations a long way away which don't have any th theoretically don't have any th any powered that's that one and um, don't have any powered things the, the workstation is in fact green and is operational so no i guess <laughs> Okay, I've just popped back to the original base, and because there's no utilities terminal in our new base, so I'm going to have to come back here and get some more level 1 stuff, which is a shame because level 2 grappling hooks and hoverboards will support a much greater weight. But I do want to try out some of these other things. First of all, and the, the bloody Uzi that I just bought is really heavy at 10 weightiness, so I'm just going to sell that, because otherwise we won't be able to use anything. Um, for now, sadly, I'm also going to get rid of the grappling hook, um, and that should give us... Um, oh god, there's a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, hang on. Let's... Okay, let's buy a telelocator, which is burden 3.7. Uh, I'm going to sell my hoverboard as well. It goes through me a bit, but fuck it. Uh, and also, I don't need this hammer anymore, because um, <laughs> I've just sold the only thing that, I, that actually uses it. Right, so now our burden is down to a, a measly 25, uh, which means and we could also buy a gravity well. What's that do? Um, it sucks and holds robots in place. That doesn't sound very useful, but let's buy it anyway. Um, I think that's new. I don't think 3089 had that. Um, and that is a decoy. Um, okay. So hopefully, um, that should be fine. In fact, I don't think those. Um, I don't think these weapons have any problem with them. Yeah, they do, they don't actually have to worry about burdens. Oh, the telelocator does. 
Um, again, it's got a limit of 35. Okay, so let's try these funny little things out. Um, I'm expecting them to be pretty much the same as in 3089, apart from the new one. Right, so let's telelocate. No solid... Oh, that's a bloody gravity well. Where the hell's my... That was number two. Oh, I should have actually checked. There we go. Right. And... Teleport with right click. There we go. And do that again. To get onto the shore. There. That's much more like it. Now let's actually try and get back to our original house. Oh, this isn't going very far at all. I'm, I'm presuming higher level stuff goes further. Oh, God. Oh, it doesn't even go very high. Oh. Uh, let's try... Um, this, which is the decoy. Aha, there we go. That's my decoy, which will, um, with, which should hopefully draw any enemy fire. And if we can find any enemies, that would be kind of handy right now. Let's, let's see if we can get his attention. Actually, hang on, let's get, go a bit higher. Or in fact, a, a ground robot might be a little easier to work with. Right, shoot. Go. Oh, it's the other one. The other one. Oh, it can shoot. My decoy can also shoot. So they're having a great time in there. Right, let's um, let's help out. Oh, hello. Hello, Ant. Where's Deck? Nowhere to be seen. Oh, hello. There's a, there's a, there's a bloody... Oh, spirit. Zax. Ugh. Yeah, every time you kill a boss, one of the ex-boss challengers, a new type of baddie will spawn. Those Zax spirits are the first. But later on, you get really big robots. Presumably. That's what happened in 3089. Okay, um, have a tr okay, let's try this robot thingamabob. Um, which one is it? Number three. Right. That's one of mine, so I'm not going to kill it. What's shooting? What's it shooting at? Oh, it's that. Right. D is that doing anything? Uh, um. Oh, how do you use this? There's a sort of like a, a glowing black cloud up there. Um, which I don't fully... <laughs> right. Let's try it with this. Uh, shoot. Uh, what's what's it doing, uh, lads? Oh, it's sucking it in, isn't it? Oh, I see. Right, everything. Oh, look, the crate's been sucked into it as well. Right, let's do it over there. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yep, there they go. So I reckon this is kind of like a, a pretty defensive weapon because it means you can just basically get rid. Um, I think there's also the uh, the other gravity weapon kind of just makes things go up in the air. And I think it might only be crates that you can do that. But it means you can pull crates towards you and then chuck them. But, yeah. Um, if it's anything like them, um, 3089, I don't really find any use for that whatsoever. Apart from stacking crates in the world's best episode of our Let's Play 1389 series. Nah, don't bother going and finding that one. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, a word about quest terminals. As these start to unlock further away from base, um, they give you more difficult quests. But it does mean that the um, each quest that you you perform gives you more skill points and more money. I mean, this one, if it was in the starting area, would probably only give you, say, like four skill points. This one gives you eight. So it does mean that if you if you pick up quests for in more in higher difficulty levels, you can upgrade your character faster. So you don't have to grind your way in a level one area forever, which is all very nice. Right, okay, the last thing we're going to do in this episode is start shooting. Hooray! And we're going to do a bit of um, blasting around in this slightly higher level area to see what loot we can actually get from some robots. Because you can get things like hoverboards, like level 2 hoverboards specifically, which is what I really want, from killing robots. It's not just like shitty parts of things. So let's try and do that. Let's kill some purple, definitely not orange. Oh god, this, this bloody weapon. Ugh. I basically flogged everything. Oh, it's level one. I basically flogged everything now to him um, because I'm not never going to use a bloody telelocator again, I don't think. It's a bit pump at level one. So come on, come on, come at me, everyone. And I'll just grab him. Right, this should be a bit more useful because I've got a pal who can help me out. So it's... Uh, oh, hello. Oh, 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 God. These ants. These ants are so fast. Um, otherwise, they're not too terrible. Um, you just have to make sure... Oh, no, it's got a shield. It is terrible. Oh, this is actually quite high-level ants. Um, hmm. Might run away. <laughs> actually, get some time rip. Um, is that... Oh, it's, it's kind of hiding from me. Hang on. Uh, let's time rip. Hang on. Bang, bang. Bang. And there we go. Oh, it didn't drop anything. Hmm. I have a... I seem to maybe remember from the alpha testing that they don't always drop things, those ants. Ah. Uh, 
Well, sod him. Oh, hello. Hello. There's a new one. So you can't actually... T actually, maybe you can tell? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> I think there's there's a way of finding out what level the robots are, but I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't want the ant to kill him. Oh, bollocks. Because if the ant is not one of my followers and it dist it gets the killing blow in, um, that means the guy, the, um, the robot, won't won't actually drop any loot, which is most vexing. See if, see if we can actually get some loot from here. Um, because, yeah, if the, if the crate is too high level, it won't actually drop anything. But it does, and it's it's pump. Great. Uh, level one, level one, level one. You're not really supposed to explode these crates that close. Um, otherwise, they might actually do some damage to you. Come on, let's actually... Come on! It's George Lucas, lads! <laughs> uh, filling the frame with so much shit. Come on, die. Oh, he's, he's a toughen. He's a toughen. He's a bad lad. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm not accurate either. This is still that piddly level one weapon. Oh, why did I sell my bloody... Oh, oh because it was shit, that's why. <laughs> right. He's dropped a level... Oh, everyone's dropping crap! Oh, a level three pistol parts. Oh, that's a bit more useful. Um, unfortunately, I still need to, I'll have to assemble that from other bits. So that is one way of grinding up to a better weapon, is going into slightly harder areas, like a level 3 area, and slowly finding every single piece of a pistol, and then putting it together. You never find a complete weapon, although occasionally, as, as I said earlier, you do find, like, a complete hoverboard, and because they don't assemble. And of course, you do have to put everything together at a workstation. Level 3 dagger? Melee weapon, which I don't really use. Oh, God, it's a bit tastier in this area. Uh, and as soon as um, you get too many things coming at you at once, you will have to run. And by you, I mean me. Because I'm playing this damn thing. Uh, come on, Morgan. Uh-oh. Things are getting very tasty. Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, okay, time rip. Time rip, time rip, time rip. Take care of you. God, this this doesn't fire very well. Oh, he's not even dead. And he's gone up in the air. Oh, dear. It's, it's a gang. It's a gang. It's a massive gang. And oh. Oh, okay, run. Run, lads. Um, I don't have my hoverboard. Um, I'm, I'm, I've also got that bloody decay thing. I'm, I'm rusting. My health is... Ow! And... Oh, that's a crate! Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Hello, lads. Okay, uh, let me try and get this. Uh, pilot skill of 14.5. I've only got about 10. I can't get that. Damn it! Um, <laughs> another problem with everything getting harder and harder the further you get, you get away from base. Your skills need to be higher and higher. Hello, Ant. Um, <laughs> just going to run for it now. I'm going to try and get all the way back to base. Uh, but I should be okay, because I've got 25% health, and things have stopped following me. <sighs> right, well, I'll see if I can cobble anything together from what I picked up, but I doubt it very much. I think I might have to actually go and uh, get some more... Do some more quests, get some more skill points, and maybe un unlock some more terminals so I can actually buy level 3 weapons. I think that would be a rather useful thing to do. Okay, so next time we'll pick it up again, we'll do more stuff, we'll do some more progression, maybe kill some more bosses, and see what happens with the hatch. I do actually want to um, get some more of the um, more advanced baddies to uh, start appearing. Uh, to killed, kill you, Zax. Huh? There we go. You dropped a piece of shit. Piss off. Yeah. Right, okay, so thanks for watching, subscribe, and for more episodes in the series and a lot more besides, and I'll see you next time. That's a crevice!